Yeah! The rattlesnake Perkins. <laughs> that caught Nate off guard. What up guys? I'm Nate Perkins and welcome to my In The Bag. Uh, first, I wanna give a big shout out to Dismania. I've been working with Dismania for five years now and uh, really it's been an honor to, uh, to throw their plastic and be a part of their team. They've got some real quality stuff. It's helped me succeed for sure. There's no question that the Dismania lineup has helped me succeed on the, on the tour over the past five years. So big thanks to them. I just made the switch uh, in December to the EXO hard link. I'm using this for all my circle two, all my circle one putts. For me, the most important thing about a putter is how confident it feels when it's in your hand, when it comes to tournament time, when the putt matters, when you only get one shot. How much confidence does that putter give you when, when you put it in your hand? The link is just so consistent. I mean, out of the box, it's the same tack, it's the same stiffness each time. And really that's why I made the switch. I love the bead that's on a link. I used to putt with the wizard quite a bit and uh, this feels very similar to that. It's got a really nice flat top. And again, it's all about that firm, kind of grippy plastic, the XO hard link. <clears throat> I'm also throwing an XO hard link. I've had this one in the bag for about six months now. Um, as a throwing putter, the link starts out pretty much dead straight. Um, with a little bit of stability. After one's been beat in for a few months, I kind of use it for hyzer flip to flat and ride straight. And then I like to use it pretty flat, maybe a touch of Anheuser and let it drift from left to right a bit. I'm also throwing a Glow P2 quite a bit off the tee and for my approaches. Uh, this P2 is, uh, is pretty domey, definitely stable and definitely a ton of glide. So I've been loving Loving the P2 for years. It's been a staple in my bag as a thrower. I've got five mids that I'm throwing. I like to classify them from most understable to most stable. Starting with the most understable, this crowned eagle has been in the bag for a couple years. It's definitely beat in. So soft that it almost has kind of like a little puddle top to it. And again, I just, I love the feel of that disc mania glow plastic, especially the color glow plastic. Just the perfect tack. I love how soft it is. And then when thrown pretty flat, this Glow MD3 just likes to ride straight. It even has a touch of stability. This is also the MD3 that I like to use to hold out a, a pretty steep Anheuser. From there, I go with a Glow MD4. If there's a little bit of headwind involved, I like to use the Glow MD4 for kind of my straight shooter. In a slight breeze, the MD4 will just kind of hold straight and it, this one has just a touch of stability on the end. The next step up in stability from that is just a fresh Glow MD4. This one is also really flat. This is kind of what I like to use for my hyzer approaches. And then the next step up in stability from that is a C-Line MD5. The MD5 has a nice bead on it. MD5 is also what I like to use for my forehand approaches where I can start it out on, on just a little bit of Anheuser and get it to scoop out real quick. I am super stoked about the, the fairway lineup that I have right now with this Mania. Really, it doesn't get much better. These discs are super consistent. I'll start out with the most understable one. This is the first night strike that I ever laid eyes on actually right here. It's been in the bag since day one, since uh, May 2018. And uh, it's been a game changer for me. This, uh, this disc really helped me on the course, really helped me develop kind of just that dead straight backhand. Uh, now it's pretty beat in and I like to use it for, for hyzer flip to flat and drift a little to the right. It's definitely the disc that I like to throw on steep and hyzers. The Night Strike has uh, been an absolute game changer for me. I highly recommend that you check one out. The next step up in stability from that is a Night Strike 2 that I've been throwing for about a year now. Definitely more stable than the Night Strike, 
but it still has a little bit of movement to it. I like to throw it dead flat and uh, it'll go straight for most of the flight and have just a little bit of fade at the end. Uh, the next step up in stability from that is an early run C-Line FD. This thing is incredibly trustworthy. It's very stiff plastic. I have a ton of confidence with this thing. I can definitely trust it into a headwind to hold really straight. Check out an FD if you haven't yet. This is probably the disc that I've been throwing the most so far this year. This is a Color Glow FD3. The FD3 really was the disc that kicked the Firebird out of the bag for me. I've been a Firebird guy all my life. I love the Color Glow Nate Sexton Firebirds and this really filled that slot for me. Again, that, that Color Glow plastic from Dismania is just so grippy. I love how soft it is. It just gives me so much confidence when I have this disc in my hand. It's stable. It's definitely the disc that I love to throw forehand off the tee the most. The next step up in stability from that is a uh, Doombird 3, a swirly plastic FD3. So same mold as that color glow. This one is considerably more stable. If it gets real windy or if I, if I need to kind of force an Anheuser that needs to come back out quick, I'll throw the Doombird. I have a ton of confidence in, uh, in both of these discs for forehands. I highly recommend both of these for, for forehand players. All right, I've got two drivers in the <clears throat> the nine speed category. I've got an S-Line CD2. This one is real flat. Um, it's very gummy and it's definitely understable. I love this disc for my hyzer flip to flat. Have uh, have a ton of confidence in this CD2. I like to try and throw my CD2 the same exact way that I throw my FD. I just throw it a little bit harder. It just loves to ride straight. I've also got a C-Line CD2, an earlier run. This one's this one's definitely considerably more stable than that S-Line CD2. It's pretty stiff plastic. I I love this this CD2 has like a like a late flip up to it. I like to release this with just a little bit hyzer. It it hyzers most of the way and then it kind of flips up to flat pretty late in the flight. So it's always special when you can get a disc like that. All right, I've got five distance drivers in the bag. Starting with the most understable is this uh, beat-in S-Line CD3. Uh, it's an 11 speed driver. I've always been a big Wraith guy and uh, this one uh, definitely kicked the Wraith out of the bag for me. It flips up to flat and likes to drift to the right a little bit. I also like to th start this thing out on a pretty, pretty high and pretty steep Anheuser and it kind of just holds that ante. The next step up from that is a an early cloud breaker. This one's been beat in. I've had a ton of throws in with this thing. This is actually my max distance forehand disc. I like to just release it dead flat and it's beat in enough that it drifts to the left a little bit and kind of gets that full flight out of it. Cloud breaker, money. The next step up from that is a, um, a later run cloud breaker. This one is uh, 171, got a real nice hearty dome to it and it is just uh, too pretty. I could not put that one in the bag. This, this latest run though is really stable. I mean, this is almost a PD2 for me. Next, I've got two PD2s in the bag. Um, really, the PD2 is, it's probably Dismania's most consistent disc over the years. I can absolutely trust these things into a headwind. And uh, one's a little bit more beat than the other, but both are really sharp. I love these for my distance forehands. I'll lean on the PD2 a lot come tournament time. I love to throw a stable disc just because I can I can really trust and use that stability to my advantage and I've been scoring with the PD2 for, for years now. Alright guys, that's all I've got. 
Thanks for tuning in and checking out what's in my bag. Hopefully we can get back to the 2020 disc golf season as soon as possible. Take care.